Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will discuss 10 new Raspberry Pi project ideas that you can try. So, let's get started. What happens when you combine a Raspberry Pi, an Intel RealSense depth camera, a CNC machine, and some clever programming? The answer is right in front of your eyes. This project is digital daguerreotype, and it can draw any image or pattern, with one line at a time. It uses a digital camera to capture an image when the user presses the start button. It then uses a Raspberry Pi to convert that picture to a drawing made using a single continuous line, known as traveling salesman problem art. When the user presses the draw button, it outputs that drawing as G-code to a CNC machine, which draws it onto paper. Our next project is a smart chessboard that you can play in two modes. Local or online remote play. If you play it in the single player mode, you get a tough opponent, that is, the Raspberry Pi. But, if you have an internet connection, you can enjoy this game with your friends or loved ones. Even if they are physically distant, the real chess pieces give you a better experience than the online games. This chess board has plenty of tricks up its sleeve. It regularly checks if you play by the rules, and warns you if you don't. It can even suggest the next best move if you are stuck. With the USB power feature, you can enjoy your game indoors or outdoors while sipping a cup of coffee. This is a homemade autonomous and manually controlled airsoft sentry turret. It is a fun project to play and learn something new at the same time. The webcam at the front of the turret continuously tracks the face of the target. Once the target is detected, the shooting mechanism gets activated and shoots tiny bullets at it. With the virtual network connection of the Raspberry Pi, you can control this turret with your laptop wirelessly. There are two stepper motors used in this turret. One is present inside the ammunition box to position the shooting mechanism, while the other is present at the bottom, which controls the rotation of the turret. These motors in the cooling fan are powered by a 12 volts battery. Tell us in the comments how you rate this turret. Do you want to level up your game of PCB design by working on high-level PCB projects? Or need features like remote working, advanced 3D viewing capability, and AMCAD? If yes then you must check out Altium Designer. Altium provides functions for users with all levels of experience and requirements. And before subscribing to Altium, you can use its free trial version by clicking on the link given in the description below. Our next project is a smart security camera that guards and keeps an eye on your home, even when you are not present there. With the high-quality Raspberry Pi camera, it can easily recognize faces and alert you who is at the door. Whether it be your friend or any intruder, you will get an email if they knock at your door. The dedicated monitor allows you to interact with the person standing at your door, and it can also control home appliances. With the touchscreen interactive, you can rotate the camera to view the blind spots. Moreover, the live stream can be accessed from any device, whether you are indoors or outdoors. You might have seen this haunted TV in a horror movie. When you look at the screen, you see a ghost on the screen standing beside you. But when you turn your face to see it, it disappears. This actually looks scary. But, how does it happen? So, the trickster of this project that deceives our eyes is a Raspberry Pi. As the TV detects a face, it turns on and the code starts running. It looks for the moment, the face is turned away from the screen. As you turn your face, the Raspberry Pi displays the image of a haunted ghost on the screen to scare you. When you again turn your head to see it, the image disappears. So, will you keep this TV in your living room? Tell us in the comments. The Goblin 854 was made in 1974. But when this old pal meets a brand new computer, that is, a Raspberry Pi, it changes the game. Now, if you want to boil the water for your next cup of coffee, just set the reminder on the Google Calendar. The script monitors the calendar and when it sees a reminder, that is, brew time, it switches the relay to turn the goblin teas made on. The code scans the Gmail calendar once a minute and checks, is there a matching slot between X and X plus one minute from now. Once it sees a calendar slot with the trigger word, the relay switch closes, and the water begins to boil. Once the allotted time has passed, the alarm plays. The Atari 800XL was an 8-bit home computer released in 1983. 
It was a true computer that contained 64 kilobytes of RAM and a full keyboard. This old guy is incapable of displaying 3D graphics, but with the aid of the Raspberry Pi, it can display high-resolution 3D graphics via HDMI. The Raspberry Pi accepts data from the Atari 800XL via the parallel bus interface, and defines a 3D model. When the Pi gets that data, it renders the 3D model in circle and displays it over HDMI. The 3D model data resides on a flashcard so the Atari can pull it into memory. The Atari 800XL also sends controller commands over the PBI to the Pi, so you can rotate and zoom in on the model using an Atari controller. Our next project is an interactive LED touchscreen that is controlled by the Raspberry Pi. This gadget uses a touchscreen sensor which is meant to be added to computers to enable touchscreen functionality. The touchscreen uses a series of IR emitters and receivers to identify the location of the finger in relation to the screen. It then transmits the location of the finger in coordinates to the Pi similar to a mouse would. These coordinates can then be used to draw out patterns and shapes in the LEDs. So, in simple words, you can draw shapes and different forms of animations on this LED touchscreen just by hovering over your fingers on the screen. This is Cutie Pie. Cutie Pie is a 12mm thin Raspberry Pi tablet. The Cutie Pie works like your everyday gadget but at the same time, it gives you the compatibility of the Raspberry Pi environment. The heart of Cutie Pie contains the components fitted on a circuit board that makes your project portable. This circuit board is housed inside a handy 3D printed case. The onboard power management feature shows information about the battery life. With the 5000 mAh battery life, you don't have to worry about charging it every now and then. So, if you are looking for a Raspberry Pi project to work on the go, then Cutie Pi is the one for you. If you love Raspberry Pi clusters, then we've picked one project for you too. This project uses 8 Raspberry Pi 4 Model B computers. The benefit of using this cluster is that more than one Raspberry Pi are connected together on a local network and work together to perform computing tasks by sharing the load. The traditional way to build a cluster is to place standoffs onto each Pi and then mount them on top of each other to form a stack. But this design is a bit different, the cooling water circuit is clearly visible and the cluster is both functional and eye-catching. There are four Pis on each side of the radiators, keeping the large fan as the focal point in the design. The display above the fan is a nice way to run scripts and visualize information or performance stats for the cluster. So we hope you loved these Raspberry Pi projects. Comment below which one was your favorite. Drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching.